Hey, Wambong World Entertainment, and as we've been discussing about movies filming in the UK, there's a big risk to doing that, and the risk is that it exposes the studios at how much they are actually spending on these movies. So all the Marvel things lately have been getting filmed in the UK because they get the big tax break. However, the issue with them doing that is that the tax filings get revealed to the public. And in doing so, we get to see what these studios are actually spending on these movies. And the only part they get back is roughly about 25 and a half percent of the money back. But they immediately reinvest that. Well, the latest Marvel movie and its actual numbers are now coming to light. And it's staggering to see what they've spent the money on. Because it's not just we get to see what the budgets actually are. We get to see what exactly they were spending things on. Which includes the likes of hotels and all that type of stuff. So the new report that has come out is regarding Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Which its budget soared to almost 330 million dollars yeah if you could believe that especially when you see the likes of modok but wait till you hear what they spend money on that rose this budget so disney has revealed that it expects last year's marvel superhero movie ant-man and the wasp quantum mania to end up over budget after it spent 131.9 million dollars on post-production in 2022 bringing its total cost to 326.6 million dollars the budget apparently was getting reported that it was 200 million that was the report and forbes even reported that and now we're hearing they spent an additional 131 0.9 million on post production that is insane and it, like it says here the majority of the movie was set in the quantum realm which increased the post production workload after filming wrapped in November of 2021 special effects firms include you hear that now again special effects firms so it's not just uh, industrial light and magic who also had a hand in it, uh, created the film's psychedelic visuals, and this set uh, the cost soaring far beyond the 194.7 million spent on pre-production and filming, as uh, was revealed last year in the Daily Mail. So the pre-production of this thing cost 197 million dollars, and post-production cost 131.9 million dollars uh, crazy numbers and then we also hear that although it's hard to tell it from the film quantum mania was made in the united kingdom and this has had a magic touch on its finances where it talks about it gets back to 25.5 percent that is before they then spent that 100 and uh 31 million because that's post-production that's the stuff they do back in the states so they're losing out on that type of stuff and it, it's just really exposing what they've been investing in which is also crazy because as i've said it means we're hearing all the budgets for all these movies that have failed at the box office we saw the Doctor Strange numbers come out and they were huge. We saw the Thor Love and Thunder uh, numbers come out and they were huge. It says the filings reveal it's 326.6 million costs, which are a staggering 63.3% higher than the estimated uh, from Variety, sorry, Variety, not uh, Forbes which claimed that Quantum Mania had a production budget of 200 million. So 
if they were filming it for 200 million and then they had to add on that 131 million and they also had that pre-production of 197 like jesus christ and then they of course they get the 25 percent back that that is staggering money when you look at what we actually got as a product for that money like did you see modok like jesus christ did you see the quantum realm and this is the thing about these costs soaring so high is the likes of the volume effect was supposed to actually bring the budgets down because it wasn't supposed to cost as much because you basically had an effect in front of you you were essentially standing in front of a big tv screen where they can actually play videos so you're seeing the kind of realistic back well what's supposed to be realistic backgrounds and stuff rather than you having to go in post-production and adding in effects and stuff you're still doing that for bits and pieces here and there but the backgrounds and stuff should just be the volume and ever since they've introduced this thing all we've seen is the budgets of these movies skyrocket and like almost 330 million for ant-man and the wasp and they bundled that movie it was a disaster good god and again this is what we're they're gonna keep getting exposed to what we're all gonna get to keep seeing every time they film a movie in the uk or even a series for disney plus or something we get to see the tax returns which means we get to see the actual numbers that they are putting into these failing projects that's quite a staggering number when you look at the budget that it at the profit it actually brought in which was none what i do mean is the money it made at the cinemas when you look at that number compared to what the actual budget is yeah it's not good is it not good at all but there you go ant-man and the wasp quantum mania almost cost 330 million dollars for a absolute dumpster fire of a movie and with that i will leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one